What are the best data plans for RVers and cruisers to keep online? It's time for a mid-2022 update. Hi there, I'm Cherie with the Mobile Internet Resource Center, and we are focused on helping RVers and cruisers keep connected in their travels. And of course, we track data plans for cellular very closely, as they are still a primary way that travelers keep online. Now, this is being filmed in May 2022, and if you were watching this much after that date, please do follow up with the uh, guide that goes along with this video for any updates that might have come out since this was filmed, because these data plans can change all of the time. We are focused on data plans that can be used as a mobile internet option. This is going to include plans that can work in routers and hotspot devices. They can be used on tablets that are cellular embedded, and they might be smartphone plans with a lot of mobile hotspot data. We are focused on plans that can keep you online just like you were at home. Now, in this video, you're going to see a lot of footage from January because a lot of these plans have not changed in a while. But there are three primary new options that I want to point your attention to, and you're going to find them towards the end of the video. One, there is a new T-Mobile tablet plan that you'll find in the business section. And we are also going to talk about Starlink, which is a satellite option, not cellular, as well as the T-Mobile home internet plan that is going kind of bananas in a lot of RVing and boating space. So we'll talk about those later. So if you want to skip ahead, go ahead. All right, let's start with plans that are suitable for use in data-only devices like routers and hotspots. Hotspot devices are typically sold directly from the carriers. Uh, these are usually optimized for that carrier. They take a cellular signal and then convert that to your own local area network, usually via Wi-Fi, sometimes via Ethernet. These are one option. And then there are cellular routers, which are mobile hotspot devices on steroids that offer a lot more features. They usually have a lot more local area networking options, antenna ports for using roof antennas, and they might have multiple cellular modems embedded in them. They also tend to not be carrier dependent. They can be used on all carriers. So if you have devices, these are great options for using your mobile internet arsenal, but they do require a specific type of data plan to be able to get online. You're not going to be able to use just a smartphone or tablet plan in these usually. Yeah, for the plans that are out there, we are in a great time period again where all of the carriers are offering direct plans with them that have usable amounts of data, especially if you're going to be redundant and have multiple cellular carriers in your setup, which we recommend if mobile internet is important to you, then you can actually put together a lot of data by combining some of these plans together. Now, with Verizon, they now actually offer two options, both with their prepaid and their postpaid department. They have plans up to 150 gigabytes of high-speed usage on routers and hotspots, and the prices are very similar. If you don't have other lines of service on them, on prepaid, you can get it for $100 per month. On postpaid, you can get it for $110 per month. And then if you do have other lines of service with them, you can save $30 per month on each of those plans, getting them down to some pretty reasonable uh, costs for a lot of hotspot data off of these sorts of devices. The main difference between prepaid and postpaid is the priority of data that you will get. Postpaid is obviously going to be a higher level of priority, and we think it's worth that extra $10 a month if you can get a postpaid plan. With AT&T, their postpaid options still, frankly, kind of suck, so we're not going to cover those. But on prepaid, they are offering still 100 gigabyte plans. Now, direct with AT&T prepaid, you can get them for hotspots or routers. It's $55 per month for that 100 gigabytes of data. And their prepaid subsidiary, Cricket, is also offering pretty much the same plan, except for it's only available on their AT&T compatible hotspot devices. Also $55 per month. The main difference is that hotspot versus router option. And also if you can roam into Canada, which the Cricket option does offer, Cricket uh, Canada and Mexico roaming, the AT&T prepaid does not. So those might be some important considerations when choosing that. Now with T-Mobile, 
They have uh, offered a lot of different options in the last year at present time. If you get their M2000 5G hotspot device, you can get it on a special promotion right now. You can get 100 gigabytes of data for $50 per month. But if you want to use their uh, mobile internet plans on routers or any other hotspot device, then you only get 50 gigabytes at $50 per month. So that's a trade-off you'll have to make if you want to use it on their device or if you want to use it on your own device, then you'll have to, you get less data for the same amount of money. Now, if you don't want to go direct with the carriers, there's a bunch of different options out there. Some of the two best that we consider are on now T-Mobile's network, and they are through the FMCA, which is the Family Motor Coach Association, as well as some nonprofit organizations like the Calix Institute. These plans are pretty similar behind the scenes. They are unlimited data off of a hotspot device, and it is priced kind of strangely. On the FMCA, if you are one of their members, you can get this for $49.99 per month. It is a month to month sort of option, and they have options to put it in suspension. Uh, for a lower cost, which makes it very flexible. With Calix, you are joining their nonprofit organization for five to $600 per year, and that year includes one year of unlimited hotspot off of the device provided. And then you can renew for $100 less because you're not getting the device in there. These are both great options to get unlimited hotspot data. It is full speed. You are subject to network management after about 50 gigabytes of usage in a month. There are also a lot of third party resellers out there. These are companies that have acquired lines of service, sometimes legit, sometimes not quite so much. And then they resell them or lease those lines to you. They might have data caps ranging from 100 gigabytes all the way up to stating unlimited, but check the fair use access policies. They may actually be restricted in the three, four, 500 gigabyte range. The prices range anywhere from close to $100 a month all the way up to $250 a month. There are options available on all of the carriers. We do keep vendor lists to these options on our website that you can go and check out. They're changing all the time on what they offer. Some are tied to the device that you have to purchase from them. Some can be used on your own device. You're going to have to do some research, research to find the ones that you want. With these sorts of options, remember you are not a direct customer with the carrier. You're going through this third party and should the carrier decide to discontinue the plan or if they catch the vendor selling them without authorization, your service could just go down. So go in eyes wide open with these. These plans tend to work until they don't. And you might be familiar with some of them uh, through companies like Mobile Must Have, Nomad Internet, Never Throttled, Bix Wireless. There's hundreds of them out there. Um, but they are a great option to get a lot of data. Just know they could go away. There's also been a new style of these third-party reseller plans that we've noticed come on the market in the last few months, and these are virtual SIM card options. They come on very low-end hotspot devices, like a little uh, orange hockey puck. These are uh, very low-end uh, LTE modems, but the cool thing about these options is that they do roam between all three carriers, so they, can, they claim to be able to pick up the best signal in the towers that are around you, so great for traveling. Um, they have options that range from two gigabytes a month all the way up to 800 gigabytes a month, and we're seeing prices up to $199 per month. These might be a great option for you if you don't care that you're using a low-end device. There's going to be no signal enhancing options to go along with these, but hey, they might be worth consideration for you. Now let's move into smartphone plans. Now, these plans that we're going to be covering offer a lot of mobile hotspot data off of your smartphone, which might be an option in your mobile internet setup, especially as a backup option or what you might use when you are moving away from your RV or boat, maybe out touring and things like that. Now, all the carriers now offer fairly compatible plans that are offering a lot of mobile hotspot data. With Verizon, they just rolled out their new 5G Get More plans. These include 50 gigabytes of high-speed mobile hotspot use that gets you online from your smartphone. They also have their prepaid subsidiary, Visible. That one, you pay $25 per month, very inexpensive if you're on one of their party pay. You get unlimited mobile hotspot use off of your smartphone, but it is capped at five megabit per second which may be enough for you. The downside to Visible is it is Verizon's lowest priority data, so if you're in a congested market, 
it may feel like you're really throttled down even further than that. But if you go in with AT&T on their postpaid option, they have unlimited elite. This one continues to offer 40 gigabytes of high speed mobile hotspot use, um, which is a great option. And T-Mobile has a very compatible Max Magenta option, also with 40 gigabytes of high speed mobile hotspot use. On all of these postpaid options, so not including a visible option that we talked about, all data is now at priority levels, so you no longer have to deal with network management on these plans, and they all offer uh, 4K video streaming, which is great if you want to watch video right on your device and you happen to have enough pixels on your device to take advantage of that. So some great uh, smartphone plans are out there now. It's great to see the carriers really upping their game on that. Another option you might want to consider in your mobile internet arsenal, especially if you're doing a lot of stuff with video, including Zoom calls and Teams and things like that, because these have built-in cameras and you can put uh, keyboards on them and they have microphones. They're great video devices. Um, with a cellular-enabled tablet, you can very often add on a unlimited plan for on-device usage to your smartphone plan with postpaid and get unlimited on-device usage. And that you can use with your video streaming and video conferencing. A great option to offload a lot of video of data usage onto a tablet. If you don't have a postpaid option with the carriers, you can typically get a standalone version of the tablet plan uh, that you just pay basically a single line of service. You can uh, pay a higher fee instead of just adding it on for somewhere between $10 and $30 per month. So some great options out there on all of the carriers, but one that I want to point out is on AT&T. It is still available. Whether you have AT&T postpaid lines or not, you can still get a standalone postpaid tablet plan for $20 per month if you find a rep who knows how to find it in their system. That makes a great option for a tablet option. All right, now, those were all consumer options for those who don't own businesses. But if you own a business, and this could include being a sole proprietor, if you can prove to the carrier that you are, then you might qualify to open up a business account. And if you have a business account with the carriers, you get better deals on those smartphones as well as some mobile internet options. Now with all of the smartphone plans, all of the carriers offer a business smartphone plan that is very similar to those consumer options that we just went over, except for they all offer 100 gigabytes of high-speed mobile hotspot use off of the smartphone, and all four very similar pricing, maybe just a couple dollars here and there. So if you're a business customer, it's definitely worth looking at those smartphone plans instead. And if you're looking for data plans for routers and hotspot devices, both AT&T and Verizon offer LTE business accounts that are worth looking into. On AT&T, they have a plan that is as little as $65 per month for unlimited use on a hotspot or a router. The downside is on that Essentials plan for $65 a month, they're not going to tell you what the speeds are that you're going to get. Some customer service reps have told us that it could be up to 10 megabit per second, so don't expect high full speeds on these. You can choose other options on AT&T for that plan. They're all speed tiered, and they have options starting at 12 megabit per second for 75 a month, and they go all the way up to 100 megabit per second for $225 per month. Uh, that's not going to be a guarantee you're going to get those speeds in all places, but those are the caps on the speed caps that you get with those tiers. Now on Verizon, they offer 300 gigabyte plans directly for their business customers for hotspots and routers. They have a tier that starts at $69 per month, and that is for 10 megabit per second max speeds that you will get. And they have options up to 50 megabit per second for $199 per month. So another great option from Verizon if you're a business customer, just be sure you are shopping for their LTE business uh, internet plans, not their 5G ones, which are fixed location. On both of those at and business options, they do uh, seem to have no restrictions anymore on mobility, 
but they may block some consumer activities like video streaming or gaming. We haven't heard any uh, enforcement of this yet. Just know that the terms are in there and that enforcement could come at any time. And a newer option this year that has recently come out is from T-Mobile. This is a cellular embedded tablet plan that is standalone. It is available to their business customers and it's super easy to get set up with a business with T-Mobile. This data plan is unlimited data for $10 per month. And it does include, I think it's like 10 gigabytes of high-speed mobile hotspot use off of the tablet. This is a great option. You can get it standalone. Uh, so if you want to go through the hoops, uh, becoming a business customer with T-Mobile, this is a fantastic plan to activate on your cellular embedded tablet. All right, now let's talk about two other options that are out there uh, that you might be considering. First is Starlink. Now, of course, this is not cellular. This is satellite, so we're going a little off script here, but they have now enabled official portability. So a lot of RVers and boaters are considering that as part of their arsenal. If you are going to be moving locations often and you don't want to play the game of trying to find open cells, you can now enable portability on a Starlink account and your total monthly is $135 per month for portability. And this gives you unlimited unthrottled data, but you are subject to best effort when you are on a congested cell area. This is a great option to consider if you are thinking it's time to hop on board with Starlink and satellite internet. We do not think for those that need reliable setups that Starlink is going to be their one and only. We think you will still probably want to consider some of these cellular options that we have talked about earlier. So do follow up. We have a full guide to getting Starlink and how to use it in a mobile environment. Next, you're probably hearing a lot about T-Mobile Home Internet, and this is a $50 per month unlimited plan from T-Mobile. Uh, it is an option, but I want you to know that in their terms of service, even in their FAQs, T-Mobile is not promoting this plan for mobile use. They specifically say it is for a fixed location. It's just since they rolled out this plan a couple of years ago, they've never enforced it. So right now, yes, you can travel with T-Mobile Home Internet. It is $50 per month, and you are always at a lower priority when you are on this plan. T-Mobile only really officially will activate it at addresses where they know they have the capacity to deliver a good performance with this plan. That's why they don't really officially allow mobility, because you're going to be moving to other cells where you might not have capacity to get service. So while it might work right now, do keep in mind, if you go with this option, T-Mobile could enforce their mobility terms at any time. Uh, we don't know when that will happen or even if it will happen. But for $50 a month and they give you the equipment, it is a pretty large uh, device. They call it the trash can. Uh, it is a large device, so it's not going to be something that's going to fit in a lot of smaller mobile spaces very easily anyway, but it is unlimited data, $50 per month, and T-Mobile's network is pretty good at this point. So do you consider that one? It's not going to be an integrated option. You can't use that SIM card in other devices. All right, so that is a wrap for mid-2022. Uh, if you were watching this video, like I said, much after that, do follow up with the guide that goes along with this. You can also get all the details on all these plans that we just talked about. There we are tracking this stuff constantly. And of course, a cellular data plan is not the only thing that's going to keep you online. You do need to consider what equipment you're going to use, your signal enhancing strategy, tips for planning your travels around connectivity, and now with Starlink as a viable option for portability, how that might fit in with your mobile internet setup. And that's the stuff that we focus on over at the Mobile Internet Resource Center. And everything that we do is made possible by our premium members, our MIAs. We are not sponsored. We're not, uh, we don't have third-party advertising and we're not trying to sell you anything. We don't have affiliate relationships that we are getting any kickbacks on this sort of stuff. For that funding, our members get to go further they get our more in-depth guides, they get our alerts, they get vendor discounts, and they get guidance in our interactive forums and webinars. So if mobile internet is an important part of your lifestyle, do consider becoming a member. Help make this all possible so we can focus on bringing you this content and go further and we can help you more. Until next time, may the bandwidth be with you.
These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.